In this recording, I'm going to talk about overconsumption. Some people believe that overconsumption is now a greater threat than overpopulation to world development. It's been calculated that the developed world consumes five sixths of the world's total resources, each person in the developed world consuming ten times as much as those in the developing world. Adamson argues that the focus on overpopulation means that we've run the risk of ignoring the major cause of the unequal distribution of resources globally between the developed and the developing world. In particular, he argues that the focus should be on the overconsumption of the world's resources by the West and the wasteful nature of Western standards of living. There has been statistical evidence to back up these arguments. Adam notes that the USA, which make up 6% of the world's population, consumes 40% of the world's resources. Also, the 6 billion babies born each year in the rich world have four times as great an impact on the world's resources as the nine, 109 million born in the poor world. Moreover, the Western society's taste for meat is largely seen as a factor causing inequalities in consumption and overconsumption on the West part. Hayter notes, by consuming meat which wastes the grain that would have saved them last year we ate the children of Bangladesh. This is an argument that meat is wasteful nutrition because the land used for grazing cattle could be used more effectively used for growing crops whilst the cereal feed uh, to cattle could go a long, to go a long way towards reducing world hunger. However, there is little evident, evidence to suggest that the world's food resources are running round, running out. In fact, the opposite seems to be true, as technology has given us the means to reproduce larger quantities of food more effectively, and governments in the West actually pay farmers for not producing too much food. However. In this way, the greed of Western nations and the overconsumption can lead, instead can be viewed as the largest threat to world development, as resources such as food are un unequally distributed, leading to underconsumption or poverty in the developing world who do not receive their fair share of resources, low standards of living, and an inability to develop their society. So in conclusion, there is strong evidence that overpopulation in the developing nations poses a threat to the the, the, the development in these areas. However, this may not be the largest problem, as the West will always be consuming twice as much as they as developing countries are. But perhaps if resources are more equally distributed across different nations, then there would be spare capital available in these developing countries to be reinvested in industry rather than just used to feed the malnourished and therefore allow them to develop.